Hi, welcome to Jonathan's Art Journey. I am Jonathan, and uh, you know it, it's February sketching once again. Um, getting a little bit of the way into it now, starting to get, I think, a little bit more comfortable um, just with the whole process in general. Although, <laughs> although looking at that leg, that doesn't seem to have uh, helped uh, helped a hundred percent. Although I feel like I am, yeah, just a little bit more flowy, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more getting into it. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the same. That's the same one. Same one, same bad leg. Having a little bit of trouble there, it seems. Well, the legs are okay now. Yep, sure, that's, that's good enough. Hmm. Looks like I'm using, uh, using a black background this time. Oh yeah, if you're wondering how I'm, uh, I'm using Photoshop with such a clean, well, non-existent UI setup, uh, you just hit, uh, Let's see, you hit tab a couple of times, and I believe F for full screen. Um, tab gets rid of the UI, and then you can draw while, uh, while not having all that stuff in the way. But the really cool thing that I don't think, well, either a lot of people know or I didn't know for a long time is if you push it, it's kind of like, um, well, if you push your mouth all the way to the <laughs> mouth, if you push your mouse all the way to the side of the screen, you you can you can peek the UI for a little bit, and that works on both sides. Yeah, like I'm doing there. So it means you can. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> it means you can still uh, work in this sort of sort of way and still have access to tools if you only need them sometimes like if you only need to change color irregularly or if you uh, need to make a new layer or change layers or something um, you can just mouse it on over have a little peek do what you need to do and you're good hmm doing a bit of noodling here but uh, that one that one's quite good it's got some thick and thin variation and uh, good gesture in the pose it was thick and thin in the line weight Ooh, oh looks like I'm oh it's turned into a spider and now the spiders <laughs> oh yeah let's uh let's try that one again Hmm. Yeah, there are a lot of, uh, you know, cute little illus uh, landscape illustration there. Um, there are a lot of sort of rough, inky, uh, hand lettering fonts. So I was just looking at my, my handwriting there and thinking, hey, maybe I could do one of those. It would, uh, that'd be quite good. Although... If I was making a font, there's a, a lot of considerations about like having all of the letters look good next to each other in no matter which order. Um, so it wouldn't be nearly as easy as just writing out nice words. Got some uh, some interesting shadow shapes on the face there, and some good uh, some good flow in the body. Yeah, this, this super muscly guy, this model, was uh, pretty fun to draw. Man, that one with the massive bow legs still gets me. Mmm. I remember this one. This one, uh, I, yeah. I really like because it's so it's so simple and the the lines are real clean. They got um, again some nice weight variation to them. 
and I did the thing where I left out a, left out a line for the arm. Yeah, even though it's, it's, I mean, even because it's so simple, I think that's even one of my favorites. Mm. Line weight's a little bit sharper than last time, which I think works with the with the model. The last one, the guy was uh, super muscly and blocky, so it felt like a thicker brush sort of worked a bit better, but this one's a bit more thinner, a, a bit thinner and more delicate. Mm. Yeah, there, there is a um, an argument for <laughs> iterative drawing, but uh, if I try and do things loose and sketchy, it does, uh, well, maybe because I wasn't practiced in doing it that way, but it did uh, not turn out very well. So I just went back to doing the single lines and trying them again if it doesn't, didn't work out. Sometimes I think it's, uh, I might have brought this up before, but the shadow shapes sort of add a little bit too, too much. Like they don't, maybe because they're the same, in, in this instance, they're the same line weight as the, out, as the outlines, because the outlines are so thin, but sometimes I just prefer it without. Oh yeah, iterative. <laughs> iterative drawing. I, I was saying that in one of my notes back there that it might be good instead of uh, doing one and then like ch changing tiny things a bunch of times to try and get it to look good. I just do it and then uh, do it again but try and fix um, the things that I wanted fixing. Um, but it feels like throwing away work so I, I don't think I ended up working like that ever, but it's a thing, a thing to think about for later, something to try. Mm, pretty short arm there, especially compared to the legs. Classic massive legs, although the form on them is quite nice. Especially how it captures like into the back of the knee. flow. And now here I go in adding the shadow shapes and seeing if that makes it any better. I think the, that hair looks, well, that hair did look pretty good, although the, how it is now is fine too. And nope, I'm moving on. Too, too much little, too many tiny little detail changes. Not enough big drawing. Hmm. Having a bit of issue here figuring out the foreshortened leg. I believe, uh, this end, ends up looking quite good as a drawing, but it's not very accurate to how the, um, yeah. Gesture, good. Proportions, very not, that says. So yeah, it's, it's got, the legs have some nice, uh, some nice flow to them, but the g proportions, not so good. Although the, in this one, I think the shadow shapes are actually pretty interesting. Maybe because there, there's a bit more going on, um, and they're very like cleanly delineated, delineated, and it sort of blends in a little with the uh, some of the shapes. Like they make their own little interesting shapes, especially around the head. Hmm. Am I doing the same one again? <laughs> Man, this is a... yeah, this must be why it's taking so long. I'm, I'm redoing pretty much every second drawing. Trying again to get the uh, proportions a bit better. Maybe stick to the time limit a bit more.
That could turn out pretty good though. And the last one of the day. I think I end up going really hard on the uh Ah, no, that's a different one. I was going to say really hard on the shading and cross hatching, but I think that's the that's the last one in the session that's coming up. Well, I guess we'll see. Got that small arm again. Someone pointed out uh I think about halfway halfway through February that I tend to end up drawing the arms quite small. Um, so that's something I tend to try and look out for now, but at this stage it's uh, still still drawing them a bit short. Oh no, yeah it is this one where I where I try the cross hatching. But do I keep it? Not a pair I do. Adding in some thicker lines where the uh, where there's less light to sort of indicate some shadow. And making a thumbnail apparently. Right. Uh, I'll, t I'll a little little spoiler alert there. Uh, that is that is a lie. I do in fact end up pausing, maybe slightly less than usual, but uh, still some nonetheless. <laughs> okay, maybe just a little pausing. It says. Yeah. I should really get back into these. The um, to when I'm when I'm looking at these and uh, re re-watching all these recordings, it looks pretty fun. And I think I did have a good time uh, as I was doing it. I think I just need to um, to noodle a bit less and be okay with some slightly inaccurate drawings. Because uh, they do end up looking pretty good. Like, I, I end up thinking, oh yeah, that's nice. And then I, I, I erase a bit and try and make it... Um, I guess closer to the reference. Like, no, why'd you do that? It was fine. But I'm not I'm not seeing what I was looking at at the time, so. That's a long thigh. I guess maybe I uh Maybe I was trying to line it up with the other leg and I got the angle not quite right. Hmm. This one, this one was really tricky because you have a, uh, well, the figure is is lying down and she's also upside down which changes a lot of like the um well it's straight up opposite to what you're used to looking at but it also changes up some of the physics of the um the body and it's also got that that twist on it yeah i wasn't quite happy with that because i think the rib cage was quite a bit bigger than uh well bigger than it should have been so here i go trying again I think the... do I try a third time? No, no I move on. Because I think that second one wasn't quite as good, so I was like, well... Ah, and here's the one that I use for the, uh... My What I Learnt from February Drawing Thumbnail. I think it's one of the, um... I think it's one of the best ones I've done, which is... <laughs> probably why I chose to showcase it like that. It's a really, um... 
I like the way I've done that, like sort of indicated that hand. Uh, feels feels very handy without having to outline all the fingers and all that. And the flow, uh, sorry, the body has some nice uh, line weight, nice nice line flow, and some uh, can really feel the feel the weight of the the ass is deforming there. Doing a tiny bit of cross hatching. Yeah, nice. Could have made me uh, spend a little bit more time on that foot because it sort of stands out as being a little bit, uh, a little bit unfinished compared to the rest of it. Uh, but on the flip side, most people I don't think would probably notice. Did did you notice? <laughs> Write in the comment below if you uh, if you noticed how unfinished the foot was, or if I just you just saw it when I pointed it out. Because yeah. Most most people don't see it, and then you point it out. And you're like, ah, yes, you're right. It is it is bad. <laughs> so uh, don't don't say anything unless they bring it up. I guess it's the general tip. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching yet again, and I will see you in the next one.